Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan from Helios Telemedicine for Men, and this week's topic is what are the causes of male hypogonadism? We know that the testes make and release testosterone according to the control of the pituitary and the hypothalamus. When we think about and organize our thoughts on the causes and treatments of low testosterone, we separate the testicular component from the control axis component. Primary hypogonadism is when the testes cannot make enough testosterone to satisfy the brain and the body. And it can be caused by structural changes such as undescended testes where they never migrated down into the scrotum or trauma such as surgery. Other causes include infections such as the mumps, HIV AIDS, and bacterial infections of the testes, hemochromatosis, where there's too much iron in the blood, and medical treatments like radiation and chemotherapy. When it comes to secondary hypogonadism, it can be caused by failure of the pituitary gland or the hypothalamus. And when it comes to the pituitary gland, a common cause is the pituitary adenoma. It is a usually benign tumor which grows next to the pituitary gland and puts pressure on it. That causes the pituitary gland to fail and stop releasing LH and FSH, which the testes need to do their job. There are numerous causes for hypothalamic failure, and these would include hereditary Kalman's syndrome, strokes, tumors, trauma, inflammatory diseases, and medical therapies. Both of these organs can be affected by changes in other hormones, such as hypothyroidism, cirrhosis of the liver, kidney failure, or uncontrolled diabetes. Lifestyle changes, such as a lack of exercise, alcohol and recreational drug abuse, unsupervised anabolic steroid use, and nutritional deficiencies can affect this axis as well. We live in a chemical soup of pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers, agricultural hormones, antibiotics, medical and other chemical pollutants in our air, water, and food. And we are just learning of the effects of these on our testosterone and other hormone levels. Not only that, but there can be a combination of primary and secondary hypogonadism. Later posts this week, will expand on this overview. Next week's topic is, how is testosterone deficiency diagnosed? But you can start with our complimentary self-assessment on our website at heliostelemedicine.com. And you can check us out at our website or on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Helios Telemedicine for Men. Thanks for your time and attention. Until next week, goodbye.